Hey everyone, sorry it's been a while since my last update. Um, I have, um, well I'll first say everything is still looking really good. Um, I had another blood draw um, yesterday and my levels were um, uh, just shy of about 2,000 or so. Um, and uh, I was actually expecting them to be a little bit higher. The doubling time slowed down to about 55 hours versus 45 hours, um, which is still well within range from what I'm hearing. Um, and so the, the doctors are not worried at all. Um, I, uh, they wanted me to wait until eight weeks with OB to have a scan, but I ended up actually contacting my local RE um, and having them get me in for a scan on Thursday. Um, and then with a probable repeat um, the following week, um, just to kind of make sure everything is going okay. Um, so um, yeah, that's what's going on. It's um, I've really wanted to do another update, um, but I'm going to be honest, I am struggling so bad. Um, we have waited and counted down to this for so long, and the thought of it not working was absolutely terrifying, and so um, the first week or so, I was just elated, and then um, beta hell came, and even though things have been um, looking fine, I'm of course, you know, comparing with other people and, and you know, looking at other results and things like that, and um, it makes you a little crazy. I shouldn't even be doing that, and I should probably totally stay away from all of the boards and everything else, but um, when you're already invested in all these groups, everybody's asking how things are going and, and things like that, so it's hard to step away. Um, but yeah, so I am a huge, anxious, depressed mess. <laughs> I have wanted this for so long and I can't even enjoy it because I'm just terrified that things aren't gonna work out and this baby or babies deserve so much love and joy and they don't deserve for me to be anxious. This is just really, really hard. I knew going into this that it was going to be hard and that I was going to be anxious, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I am just, I'm trying so hard to hold it together and be okay through this process. The thought of the scan on Thursday is terrifying. When you've had so many losses, walking into that room is, um, it's like opening up that wound all over again. And uh, it's just really scary. Um, and it's early in the morning, so I don't have anybody to go with me. Um, my husband has to work and my mom has to help with uh, the other kids getting off to school, so I don't have I don't have anybody to go with me, so it's just going to be really, really hard. And like I said, I want to enjoy this so bad. And I want to cherish every moment of this so bad. But I can't, I can't even leave my house during the day right now because I'm just a mess. I'm anxious, I'm angry, I'm frustrated. And Everything I do is magnified like a bazillion times and I just, I'm not okay right now. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, I really hope that in a couple of weeks this eases up and I can actually accept this and enjoy it really fully, truly. Um, it's just really hard when you've dealt with so many losses. We've had over 13 documented losses and some not even documented. It's, it's paralyzing to be back in the same position again, not knowing, you know, I just, I wish my betas were in the tens of thousands so that I would have no inkling of even a slight worry, you know? And it's not like anything's really looking detrimental in any way, shape or form, but I'm just, I wanted everything to be perfect so I wouldn't have to worry. And I feel like I just don't know right now. And I, I want to, um, I want to cherish every moment of this process, but I am 
I'm just paralyzed by fear and anxiety and worry and depression and it's it's very difficult um, to get through so I apologize for blubbering all over this update I didn't want to do that but this uh, there's no other way to make an update without going into this right now um, so I apologize again for snuffling and everything else and crying but uh this is the reality of what things look like when you are pregnant after numerous losses um, it's it's just uh, very hard and so every day is a struggle and a battle and uh, I'm praying and I'm doing all of the things that I was doing before and uh, it just doesn't really help <laughs> so um, prayers are obviously appreciated for Thursday um, I will be five weeks and four slash five days however you want to calculate it um, so they should be able to see a sack um, and whatever I don't know what else will be seen I, I don't want to go in there with expectations and then feel disappointed because um, I kind of had expectations for my betas and I felt a little disappointed even though they're within range so I just I don't want to have um, I don't want to have expectations um, I just I really hope that everything is good and that everything stays good and that um, these little snowflakes or snowflakes stay and they stick and they grow and they flourish and they thrive uh, because we have prayed for this for so long and have gone through so much to get here that it's just um, it's very hard to have life hanging in the balance so to speak um, so that is my update for now um, I hope to have some uh, good news on Thursday to be able to share with you guys and then hopefully next week uh, with another skin and we'll see heartbeat or whatever um, I'm hoping that that eases some of my fears and uh, stress uh, a lot of it is you know this is the week that uh, that we will have made it the longest in all of the last five years. I haven't made it past five weeks for five days, you know? So this week is kind of like the telltale um, determining factor for me, so to speak, mentally anyway. And uh, I don't know, I don't know how it's all gonna go. And I think that's contributing to some of my feelings and fear. Um, so hopefully when I pass this uh, milestone so to speak it'll get easier and uh, it won't be as as bad um, as far as the anxiety and stuff goes so um, like I said I really appreciate the prayers and uh, the comments and everything else it, it makes a huge difference knowing that there's people out there that care um, and for anybody who is walking through this um, just know that um, I have severe and deep empathy for anyone having to walk through this because it's just terrifying and difficult and um, yeah so anyways that is my update for now hopefully I'll be back with some good news in the next couple of days